From a rock and roll legend to a sitcom star, actor Valerie Bertinelli has had relationships with several interesting men. For over three decades, filmmaker Steven Spielberg has enjoyed a blissful marriage to his wife, actor Kate Capshaw. But before Capshaw were a number of relationships for the celebrated director, including an apparent fling with Valerie Bertinelli. In 2008, the actor admitted to dating Spielberg after auditioning for one of his movies in 1980. Bertinelli told Oprah Winfrey, I went up to read for Raiders of the Lost Ark, which I was so wrong for, and the next day I got a call and some flowers. Spielberg asked me out. We went out a few times and did more. Despite the media's perception that they had something serious going on, Bertinelli insisted it was nothing more than a fling. She wrote in her 2008 memoir, Losing It and Gaining My Life Back One Pound at a Time. We had too many differences, including age, career status, and religion. I met his mother, and I knew he wasn't going to marry someone who wasn't Jewish. Their breakup, however, also came down to seemingly simpler stuff that actually meant a great deal, such as their food preferences. Bertinelli wrote, One night, as we made pasta for dinner, I started to chop up garlic. And Stephen said, No, stop. No garlic. I thought, Are you kidding me? I can't date a guy who won't eat garlic. As written in Losing It, Valerie Bertinelli and Steven Spielberg broke up in the summer of 1980. According to the actor, she was visiting her parents in Shreveport, Louisiana when she gave her soon-to-be ex a call after meeting the man who would become her first husband, rock star Eddie Van Halen. Bertinelli wrote of Spielberg, I didn't want him to hear it from anyone but me. After seeing a picture of the guitarist on a Van Halen album cover, Bertinelli had agreed to go with her brothers to one of the band's shows in Shreveport. While backstage, she met Van Halen himself and was immediately smitten. She told Oprah Winfrey in 2008, You had to peel me off the floor. They met up again a few days later, and according to Bertinelli, the couple never separated from then on. In his 2017 memoir, Runnin' with the Devil, Van Halen's manager, Noel Monk, also recalled Bertinelli's first time meeting the rock musician. Monk wrote, It was kind of cute to see them together. They were both clearly nervous and somewhat reticent. This struck me as a sign of genuine chemistry. In December 1980, four months into their relationship, Van Halen popped the big question. And on April 11, 1981, a 20-year-old Bertinelli got married to her 26-year-old Prince Charming. I was madly in love. Madly in love. Like many whirlwind romances, Valerie Bertinelli and Eddie Van Halen soon realized that marriage was not a walk in the park. Speaking to Oprah Winfrey in 2008, Bertinelli shared some of the sadder and more toxic details about her union with the rock star. She explained, He had his responsibilities of what he had to do, and I had my responsibilities. And we thought if you just live in the same house, there would be a connection. But no. The result? Admitted infidelity on both sides. While she claimed to have heard her then-husband talking to a woman on the phone, Bartonelli also confessed to stepping outside their marriage. They just added up, added up, added up to where it just became unbearable for both of us. However, this unfortunately was not the first or last of their troubles. According to Page Six, excessive drug and alcohol use was also an issue, something that eventually took its toll on their already failing marriage. Bertinelli wrote in Losing It, It wasn't one thing or another as much as it was everything together. There was a lot going on. We just did not communicate as effectively as we should have. In his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing, Matthew Perry took readers into his world as an actor as well as his feelings he developed for Valerie Bartonelli when they worked together on the 1990s sitcom Sydney. He wrote, I fell madly in love with Valerie Bartonelli, who was clearly in a troubled marriage. My crush was crushing. Not only was she way out of my league, but she was also married to one of the most famous rock stars on the planet, Eddie Van Halen. Though Perry noted that his feelings were unrequited, he managed to forge a friendship with Bartonelli. And then one night, while hanging out with Bartonelli and her then-husband in their home, the duo allegedly shared a moment. Perry wrote, As the night progressed, it was clear that Eddie had enjoyed the fruits of the vine a little too hard one more time, and eventually he just passed out not ten feet away from us. Perry also admitted he and Bartonelli apparently had a, quote, long, elaborate makeout session. While Bartonelli didn't officially comment on the claim, she seemingly responded in a TikTok video captioned, Anyone misbehave in their 20s and early 30s? Are you mortified? Despite their many issues, Valerie Bartonelli and Eddie Van Halen were married for 20 years before separating in 2001 and eventually finalizing their divorce six years later, a decision inspired by their son, Wolfgang Van Halen. Bartonelli explained in an interview with Oprah Winfrey, Ed and I weren't treating each other like two people that loved each other. And that's what Wolfie was seeing. 
So I'm hoping that when he does get married and start a life for himself, that he takes his time and marries a friend, and not just someone that he can't keep his hands off. While they may not have always had a happy marriage, Bertinelli and the musicians stayed friends, remaining in each other's lives even after they split. Bertinelli told People in 2022, I can't explain the feelings Ed and I had for each other. I loved him more than I know how to explain, and there's nothing sexual about it. It was more than that. In October 2020, when Eddie Van Halen was nearing his death at age 65 of throat cancer complications, Bertinelli rushed to be by his side. According to People, the actor told her ex-husband, Maybe next time. Maybe next time we'll get it right. While visiting her parents in 2004, Valerie Bertinelli's brother introduced her to Tom Vitale, a father of four who was recently divorced. This, among other things, helped the couple connect pretty fast. Of their early days together, Vitali said to AARP, Val and I were coming from a tough time and wanting to move on, but didn't want to trust anyone. We just understood each other completely. My family is her family. It wasn't love at first sight, it was family at first sight. After six years together, Vitali proposed to Bertinelli during a romantic getaway in Italy. Bertinelli couldn't have been more grateful to have met Vitali when she did. While Bertinelli looked forward to walking down the aisle, the hot and Cleveland star hoped for a better marriage with Vitali than her first. She told people at the time, For me, it feels silly. I'm 50, it's not about the wedding, I just want to have a marriage. We're going to get married in Italy, just the two of us and a witness. In January 2011, Valerie Bertinelli and Tom Vitali got married at their Malibu home in a ceremony bigger than their original Italy plans. But if marriage ever changed things for some couples, Bertinelli and Vitali's love only continued waxing stronger after their nuptials. She gushed to good housekeeping the following month. He's my buddy. I love him. I adore him. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. And now that we're married, it's just easier to say this is my husband. Speaking further with the outlet, the Food Network star praised her second husband for accepting the many sides of her that she kept buried for years. If there was any doubt how much the two had in common, Bertinelli notably revealed to Prevention in 2012 that she and Vitali had a good time cooking and making meals together. You're having way too much fun. <laughs> a little over a decade into their marriage, Valerie Bertinelli filed for legal separation from Tom Vitali in November 2021. Per E.T., the actor cited irreconcilable differences, adding that they had a premarital agreement dating back to December 21, 2010. In May 2022, Bertinelli amended her filing to a request for divorce. Even though Bertinelli still holds on to her love story with ex-husband Eddie Van Halen, she insisted it was not related to her divorce from Vitali. She told People, I only wish the best for him, and I know he feels the same way about me. However, Vitaly challenged their prenup with a filing that saw him request $50,000 in spousal support and $200,000 in legal fees according to court docs obtained by People. In response, Bertinelli filed a 13-page document asking for a separate trial to determine the validity of their prenup, while the former couple eventually finalized their divorce in a proceeding settled by a private judge that September, Radar reported that Bertinelli and Vitali were heading back to court to finalize some remaining issues, such as personal property and real estate. The third time may be the charm for some, but Valerie Bertinelli has revealed that she's not bothering to try for another walk down the aisle. During a June 2022 appearance on Today, Bertinelli confirmed we have seen the last of her married and in love. She told host Hoda Kotb, I am going to be more than happy to be happily divorced and spend the rest of my life alone. I'll be happy that way. Well, with my six cats and my dog and <laughs> my son and hopefully one day grandchildren. As for her reason for giving up on finding romantic love again, Bertinelli referenced her divorce from Tom Vitale, adding, I can't imagine ever trusting anyone again to let into my life. So I have some trust issues that I'm sure I'm going to have to get past. In a step toward her new journey, Bertinelli announced on Instagram in September 2022 that she was letting go of some of the things she had worn during her 2011 wedding to Vitale. In an Instagram photo of shoes and Tiffany rings, she wrote, Dropped a few things off with the real real. A couple of Tiffany rings that have some bad memories attached. Valerie Bertinelli is clearly leaving the past behind and looking to the future.